if I were to have my manifestations, what person do I need to be? But then be that person, not to get the manifestation, but because you owe being that person to yourself because you want to feel good. You don't want to be waiting for text messages or hoping someone chooses you. You just want to know that you are the best option and you're just naturally chosen and people naturally love you. I did terrible today with eating and it's just the honest truth. Here I do have vegan chicken, broccoli and rice. So that's at least something. And I was supposed to go to my mom's today, but I just didn't want to pack everything. It's a long process for me to get out of the house and then drive an hour and a half and hit traffic. So I figured I'll just relax today and then wake up really early tomorrow and drive to my mom for the weekend. And it is a three day weekend. I don't always know if it's like, do I get the day off? I don't know. I never know. And sometimes I'm too shy to ask, but this time I did ask and my boss said, yeah, it's a three day weekend, enjoy it. And so very happy. And we are going to see the Little Mermaid on Sunday. So I'm so excited. And when I get back, which will probably be on Monday, I don't know if stores are open because I should go grocery shopping again to get stuff so I could make bulk meals. And my plan is on Tuesday, if I have to go food shopping on Tuesday, that's fine. But I have to have the meals ready. That's the only way I'm going to be consistent because yeah, I just cooked this on the stove, which didn't take a lot of time. But if I could already have at least one meal ready and I just heat it up, that's so much better because I probably would have had a second meal today if I was prepared. And I have so much to tell you about manifesting. I think after I'm done eating, I'm going to go on a walk. And then when I get back, I'm going to record that video or that, that part of the video. Cause you guys, my friend Amanda kicked my butt today and I just need to share everything I learned from her that I know will really help other people and get us the results we want. Okay. I'm excited you guys to talk about this. So my friend Andrea sent me a screenshot of the different levels of consciousness, and I'm going to put a screenshot in here. So you can pause that, take a look, screenshot it. So if you want to save it and use it as a tool, which is what I plan to do. So all of these levels are different states of being that you can shift from. And here's the thing at every level you are manifesting automatically. When you manifest, it's based on your state of being and it happens on autopilot. Yes, we can use techniques like affirmations, visualizations, meditation to embody a state. And we also have to persist in that state. But if you take a look back at the things that happened in your life that felt like bad circumstances, most of the time you didn't consciously have to affirm for those. They just happened. I didn't affirm my ex was going to break up with me, but he did. Although I had a feeling something wasn't right. And that feeling was me in a very low state of being. So at the bottom, we have shame, guilt, apathy, grief, fear, and then it starts to go into desire, anger, pride, courage, neutrality, willingness, acceptance. And then it gets in the very spiritual levels of oneness, being, embodying love, non-duality. That's when you start to feel like you are connected to everyone else. And we'll get there, but we don't need to rush. What we need to is really take a look at where are we dominantly? What state? And where do we want to go? So being totally vulnerable, I think a lot of the times I'm in neutrality. I always feel good. If you ask me any time of day, I'm like, I'm fine. I'm good. And I definitely 
embody the state of the wish fulfilled at times where I accept all my desires are mine. So I slide up the scale. However, I notice my desire is not here. So I slide down the scale to desire. And then usually I get frustrated, discouraged, disappointed. And it's not really anger, but it's kind of in that area. And so what I need to do is not entertain those thoughts. And when I feel that I'm in the state of desire, I really need to check in with myself and say, okay, I feel I'm desiring something right now, which means I don't believe I have it. So what would be a better feeling? A better feeling would be you have this because you know how creation works. You know it's all coming from you and you're the one creating. So just accept it's yours and move back up the scale and be fulfilled. Feel how great that is to know you have everything you want. It's all inside of you. And from there, we're getting closer to that oneness and embodying love. And so I think that's really important because a lot of times I am not aware of what state that I'm in. And that's going to lead me into my next topic because my friend Amanda and I had a really great conversation today and she kicked my butt again. She gave me a lot of tough love and she, she didn't ask me, why do I think I don't have my desires? She just listened to me and I told her a lot of the reasons and the thing is, I've told her those reasons many times and she listened and she will always listen because she's patient with me. And then she said, I have to point out, how many times do you think you've told me those stories? And I'm like, oh, many, I don't know, 10 times. She's like, yeah, you're so focused on what you don't have and why you can't have it. Uh, she needs me to sit tonight with myself and uncover what are the beliefs? Do I believe I can't have the manifestation? Do I believe I won't be chosen? Do I believe it's impossible? Sit with it because then we have to transcend it. And we do that by persisting in the new belief. And when you come up with a new belief, you don't have to affirm it all day long. You don't have to do techniques like that. What you do is you just decide who you are and then you embody it. And I'm just taking a quick look. Yeah, so when I, in the past, I really didn't feel attractive. And I didn't believe people found me attractive. I also didn't feel very confident. I was very insecure and very uncomfortable with my body. And did how did I change the beliefs? Because now, many of my friends have told me, you seem so much more confident. You are glowing. Just the way that you talk is so much more confident. And I didn't affirm all day long that I am attractive, beautiful, cute. People find me attractive and want to be with me. No, all I did was I just made the decision that this is all about me. And when people do show me that they find me attractive, who am I to tell them? No, you don't. So now I just accept it. And I also persist in it. So I allow myself to feel attractive and cute. And when I go out, even if it's to the grocery store, I kind of hype myself up. Yeah, we're going to put on those jeans that look good on me. I know people that are walking by think I'm cute. And you continue to build that story and you allow it. You don't resist it by saying, no, no one's going to find me attractive. I'm ugly because that's telling the opposite story. And so it's just a decision. I am now attractive. I accept people can find me attractive. And then what happens is I'm now in the state where that is natural to me. So people can reflect that to me. And I'm not going to self-sabotage and push it away. Amanda also told me earlier she was sitting with herself and thinking about me and her and what is different because we're both doing this journey side by side every single day. I've said that a million times on this channel. We talk an hour to an hour and a half a day on the phone. So she knows I'm doing the work. I'm focusing on me. And yes, sometimes I do fall out of the state and I focus on the 3D when I get movement. But what is the difference? Why is she getting a lot of the things that I want? And the nice thing about her is that we have love for each other. So we both want each other to succeed. And that's why we call each other out. 
And what she decided or what she realized is I'm focused on the lack. She's not. What does that mean? Well, when I'm focused on myself, I'm good. But when I get movement, like I said, I become focused on the 3D. So then I notice the desire's not here. And then I think, okay, well, how do I get the desire? I have to do something. I have to affirm, which we know is not true. Or I have to embody the state of having the desire. And that's the thing. I'm in this cycle of still trying. If you are being the person that is loved and chosen and in the relationship, you don't have to try to be that person. You just are that person. So I'm in this, I'm keeping myself stuck because I keep trying. And she even said for your past manifestations, did you try to get them? No, I just was the person that would get those things I decided and they showed up. So why is it with love that it's just so much more difficult? It's not, but we put it on a pedestal. And so I had said to her, okay, so I've been trying to embody being chosen and a priority. So I decide to be those things and I need to embody being a person that is chosen and a priority, which is true. But where I'm getting thrown off is I'm not just being that person. I'm noticing that I'm not that person. I'm noticing the lack that I'm not being chosen and made a priority in the 3D. And she said, take a break from that. Just focus on you. Take some time. We're just going to work on your self-concept. And when your manifestation comes or your desire comes to mind, just tell yourself, you know, it's yours. You know that this is the 3D right now, but it's going to change. And then go back to focusing on you. Don't keep trying to change the belief or embody, sorry, or to try to embody the version of you that would have the desire. Just decide and then go back to focusing on you. And then you're not having any resistance because you're not trying to flip beliefs. You're not trying to believe in something that you don't believe in. You're just making the decision. This is the relationship that I have. This is my desire, my manifestation. It's already mine and go on with your day. And another thing that she does, which is very helpful for me to know is when she notices the lack, like someone didn't send her a text and she wanted to hear from them, she just decides, I am a priority. I'm not gonna worry about this. I know that they're going to text me. I'm gonna go back to focusing on me. And that is embodying the person that ha that is a priority and chosen. That's not trying to be a priority and chosen. And one more thing, I said to her, if I do this and I'm serious and I hold myself accountable and I actually am a person, I become the person that is loved, chosen and a priority. That's when the manifestation will just flow to me naturally. And what she said was really big. She said, you're still thinking of ways to try to get the manifestation. You have to stop. You should not embody being a priority so he makes you a priority. You should embody being a priority because you are your own priority. And she said she wakes up every single day and decides the first thing in the morning that she is her own priority today. And then she goes on with her day and she checks in with herself multiple times throughout the day. And when she notices the lack or she wants to take action and she knows she doesn't need to, or she's just having some doubts, she addresses it and she decides again who she is. And then she goes back to focusing on herself. So she's genuinely wanting to be happy and the priority in her own life for her. And yes, when you do that, the cherry on the top is manifestations will just flow into you. But we should want to be our own priority because that's gonna feel so good. And be honest, are you a priority in your life? I've been in this state of, I'm happy, I'm good, but am I a priority for myself? No, there's so many things I would do different in my day if I was my own priority. And someday when I'm in the relationship, I still wanna be my own priority because that is a person that is naturally chosen and a priority to other people. And so I challenge you to 
sit with yourself, get clear on why you don't have your manifestations, and then kind of uncover, if I were to have my manifestations, what person do I need to be? But then be that person, not to get the manifestation, but because you owe being that person to yourself because you want to feel good. You don't want to be waiting for text messages or hoping someone chooses you. You just want to know that you are the best option and you're just naturally chosen and people naturally love you. And so we're going to do this. We're going to work on this. I have to be a lot more aware of who I'm being during the day, because a lot of the time the day just flies by and I don't know who I was. So I'm going to make it a point this next week to check in with myself, look at the consciousness scale and see where am I, you know, multiple times a day. If I'm in desire, I need to go back to acceptance. If I'm feeling discouraged, get back up to acceptance. Don't stay down there in anger, desire, any of those things, because like I said at the beginning of this, you are always manifesting on autopilot. So if you stay in anger and grief and desire, you're just going to keep manifesting those things without even trying. So we want to get you a lot higher up on the scale. So things that you do want start to manifest. And I hope everything that I shared makes sense. But please, you are welcome to leave a comment below if you need me to clarify anything or if you just have any questions about manifesting. You're also welcome to reach out because I'm always, I love talking about this stuff. But I am going to end the video here. I have no idea how long I was talking for. And so I'm going to ask you to consider please subscribing. I am making daily vlogs documenting my eating Ah, my eating recovery. So I am sharing the food stuff in each video, which I hope doesn't bother people, but it's because I need to be accountable. And when I edit the videos, yeah, I'm aware of I didn't eat enough, so I got to try harder. And I'm also talking about manifesting, which is just one of my biggest passions. And I love to share it and teach it. So I would also say if you want to leave a comment, feel free. I reply to all the comments. And if you can just do me a big favor, please give this video a thumbs up because that does help to promote my videos. It, it encourages me to keep making more and it makes me feel good when I see a lot of people liked the videos. So I hope you have a beautiful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. All right, goodbye.